Hello everyone, this is Ginger Pana. Welcome to my YouTube. I am here to um, introduce to you, happy 4th of July, by the way. Today is July 4th, 2020. I hope all of you are safe, um, being healthy, and making sure that, um, as Tina, tell him thank you, always reminds us to wash our hands. I am here in a collaboration, and it is our white party. Woohoo! So, um, white party meaning we create all things all in white. Okay, so in this collab, it's Tina who is Tell Him Thank You and she is our hostess. And I will link everyone's channel below. But she gathered a few crafters together and we, uh, she wanted this collab done and it was very fun. It was a good idea, but I'm, I did tell her I struggled with just staying with the white. So... <laughs> We'll see um, what you think of the things that I created. Um, the other collaborators are Melissa, who is Mo Creations, Betty, Scrap Passion 01, Tammy, SS Crafter 1, Veronica, VL Ballin 1, and myself, Ginger Pana. So um, we have to create all things white. Okay? So. I have this here for eye candy and this I kind of did towards the last part of getting all my projects together. I had an idea, I wanted to make these um, snowflake and I wanted them to be kind of like felties or, or something to, I guess I could have crocheted them, but I don't know if you can really see them that well, but it's on this white um, paper that kind of has berries and leaves on it. And this paper is from Tuesday morning and I got it many, many years ago and I never used it. And so it came in a pack of 8x8 eight eight sheets and they're all the same. Okay, and then I used my Sizek Snowflake die. And I cut out this um, iridescent glitter foam that I had in my stash. And then I just kept cutting all different, uh, cutting them all out. And then I had all these pieces and then I started to layer them and I decided to make a uh, little note card. So you can either use this as a note card or I was thinking of punching a hole here and doing a, um, a ribbon so that I could tie it onto a gift. Okay, so if you can see it's just layered foam snowflakes. I have a brad in the middle and then I dangled a little charm here. Okay, now I did a video uh, previous to this and I've been having really fun with uh, making dangles and bee charms and um, let's see, Buzzing with V has a great tutorial on how to make the wrappings on the top. Okay, so I made a set of four. Okay, so that is my introduction to my all white party projects. So then I'm going to bring out all of these skeins of yarn and I've been kind of in a crochet mood lately. Um, I'm trying to clean my craft room and get organized and um, I had all this yarn out. So I started to crochet a lot of things, not necessarily in white and Natalie put some bling on it and Anna from Serenity Creations have been inspiring me to do all of these crochet projects and I'm not a good crocheter I'm very basic uh, but I know the basics so I've been watching a lot of crochet YouTubes and I made some of the projects that I'm going to show you today okay so these two are sparkly yarns and I don't know where I bought them from because now I can't find them and this one I think I got at my local craft store I know Dollar Tree sells this sparkly yarn too it's this eyelash yarn but here we have it locally and it's um, a Korean company okay so it's called scrubber yarn okay so moving my yarn on the side I'm gonna show you one of the not it wasn't my first crochet project in this collab but it I'm so proud of this it's a bag look it's a drawstring pom-pom bag okay so it was very easy um, it didn't take me much time maybe three days to crochet it um, it goes just in the round and I will leave the link below the gal that I started to watch on this is knit 
Micro Addict and she has great tutorials on her channel and so it's just a drawstring it's a round bag and here's the bottom and then you make the drawstring so when you come up here you kind of leave room and then you weave in the the drawstring and on each end you make pom-poms and I have a lot of pom-poms that I've been making since I've been watching Anna and Natalie okay and all you other youtubers been making tons of pom-pom projects okay so this is my first project it's a white pom-pom crochet bag okay so I figured with white um, you can always add color in it later I could add dangles I could put a, a motif here in color so there's a lot of things that I could do to dress up this white bag but I think it looks really nice very roomy okay the circumference of the bag is um, about 11 10 to 11 inches right under 11 inches and it is about 10 inches high okay so I love my bag okay so that's my first project with crocheting and then Anna and Natalie they started to do all of these roses these crochet roses so I made a lot in white as you can see here I didn't put any centers in them because I'm not too sure what projects I'm gonna use them for but there are many tutorials out there um, some I let's see too too many uh, she used to do a lot of videos um, before she stopped doing videos but she has awesome project shares and tutorials on her channel lots of them are crochet patterns and so I watched hers I watched some others but when you google crochet rose uh, a, a slew comes out okay but it's just a long strip and then you just uh, when you start winding it you have this uh, look and my friend Jennifer um, she made me from crafting sweetness in one of our swaps she gifted me a whole box of crochet roses okay so these are the ones that I had made and it just depends how many uh, how long of a strand you make depends how tall and how fluffy your rose comes and these are a little bit flatter ones Okay, so I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but this one has a sparkle in it. There, can you see it? So that's already embedded in the yarn. I think they all are like that. I made it all with a sparkle yarn. Okay, so here is my crochet roses. And then I went on and I wanted to make I thought oh maybe I can make some gifts, you know, upcoming Christmas gifts. So I saw a tutorial on bath poofs okay so this is crocheted and it is I guess you could google I mean you could search for bath poofs p-o-u-f or shower puff okay so the one that I enjoyed watching and learning from was Ophelia talks and chibi chibi creations okay so they have tutorials on how to make these puffs and as well as many other crafters Okay, so I'm not too sure if I even saw this on Anna or Natalie's channel. I've been getting a lot of inspiration from those two ladies lately. Okay, so this is a, it's just again, um, it's in the round, um, you make a circle in the middle and you just keep going and then before you know it, this thing starts twisting. Okay, then you make the, the hang string and then you got your poof. Okay, so the more layers you put on, the bigger your poof can come. So I made it, I made two. Okay. So I made two bath poofs. These are, they were easy to make. And um, I love them. I'm so glad I made them. It's forgiving too. So if you're off a few stitches, it's okay. But um, it was, it was really easy. So I enjoyed making that. So I'll leave a link below of the, some of the, videos that I watched that is, that taught me how to do those okay and then I took it a step further and again either Natalie or Natalie or um, Anna um, they talked about a poof poof flower I think that's what it's called no puff flower with puff stitch so this is puff stitches 
Okay, so I googled it and I found a good tutorial by Liza Waters. I can't even read my handwriting. I wrote it all down. But I'll link her um, channel below. I think it's Walters. And she teaches you how to do the puff stitch. Puff stitch. Puff stitch. Okay, so I crocheted these puff stitch flowers. I put a bling center in the middle. So that's my flowers. And then I, I did, there's a lot of tutorials on how to make these crochet flowers. Okay, Natalie even did one with a, I think a seven petal one. I made one, but I didn't make it in white. But anyways, I got one, two, three, this is six petals. And this one is a six petal as well. I don't know why there's a hole here. But I love my little flower so I could, you could either layer it or you can um, put a bling in it. So I figure for now I'm going to leave it blank because um, whatever project I use it on, I'll probably coordinate the colors with it. Okay. Okay, so that are my, those are my flowers. And then I started to make hearts. So I made these crochet hearts and I sh I'll show you what I did with these crochet hearts later. But the hearts are really good too. Um, I think Too Too Many also did tutorials on the hearts. I made some doilies. These are really, really easy. And again, Too Too Many did the doilies. Okay, so you can make them with the, um, what is that string? The crochet thread. For now, I just used a smaller needle and a regular yarn. And I think this is might be a three-ply. It might be a, one of those baby soft yarns. So I love them. You could use it as part of your embellishments. And then Too Too Many also showed us how to make these flutter butterflies. Okay, so it's like a flower. It's an eight-petal flower. And you fold it in half and it makes a butterfly. So I made two and then I figured whatever I use this on I can do the gems going down the center for the body and I can make it in the color scheme that I want. So actually doing things all in white um, it, it's pretty good because then you can you have something in your stash to use later and you can always um, make it match to whatever project you're working on. Okay so those are my butterflies. So let me put these back on the tray here. And then I'm going to show you what I did with these hearts. Now, recently I've been posting some videos on jewelry making. And so I um, had some supplies from BB Craft. And plus I have gazillions in my stash already. So because all my jewelry things were out in the open, I decided to make some jewelry charms. Okay, so this is what I did with one of the crochet hearts. Okay, so I put the heart in the middle with the, the top here, the string. I made sure I kept it long so I could string through some beads. So I used all white beads. And then I put a clasp on the top and then I went back down and I tied a knot. And I hid my threads in the back. And then on the bottom I added a white um, tassel. And I don't know, the camera's picking up this gold, but actually it's silver. Okay. So I made one heart dangle and I made another heart dangle using different types of white beads. Isn't that cute? Okay, so these are my heart dangles. Okay, and then off to my next set of dangles, I made paper clips and I made some of these a long time ago I had these paper clips already done um, in different colors and so I took the ones that I, I redid it so I wrapped new paper clips up with the paper that I used in my cards and I put a clasp on the top and Lollipalooza has a great tutorial um, I think Anna also did dangles from Serenity Creations and I'll try to find some and link them below. I love to watch um, Anna make charms. She's such a great um, 
inspiration. Okay. But Lolly also Lolly Palooza also has um, great tutorials on her channel too. So I just added, I made these dangles out of different beads that I had in my stash. And then I just hung them on the bottom. And in the middle, I had this butterfly, netted butterfly. And I just put some um, pearl flat backs here. Okay, so I made this dangle. And I made this one. So this one has a little bit more white beads where this one is more transparent and I put a white bow here with a clasp okay now all these dangles will come into play in a little while I also made this dangle so I did make some um, purse dangles I guess that's what you call or you can um, use this on the side of uh, the spine of your albums but I made a lot of charms like this in the past. And so I decided to go through my supply and make an all white dangle. See, some of the beads, they turn out off white, but maybe it's because of my skin. Or maybe by then I'm colorblind, I'm just blinded already. So on the end here, I used a white heart but these are all beads I had in my stash. So I use clear, um, transparent, a solid. And there's a chain running down here. And I just hung all the dangles from the chain. Um, my friend Tina, who is Crafty Bean, she has been making lots of dangles recently. So check her out. Awesome. Hers is super chunky. Okay, so I just used this clasp that I had in my stash. So I love my dangle. Okay, and then years ago, I made, um, I was making these um, bead sprays. And so I, I made them for this collab because the ones I had were um, different colors. So I got all my different types of white beads and I strung them. I mean, I twisted them onto this wire. So I will link a tutorial below that I follow. Um, and so you can kind of see how they did it but there are a lot when you uh, when you do a search for bead sprays a lot comes out and so with this you can enter you can wrap your uh, flowers you know your little um, flowers that have those stems you can wrap them in between all of these beads and you can make a nice um, spray with it I've used it in the past on my projects and I stuck it behind something and this would stick out okay but here let me show you like for instance if we take this puff stitch flower and you know if I was to use this on a project and of course I would cut off this overlap this thing that's poking out but see you just it adds a little bit character to your to your project see so you can do it like this or you can just do it like this you see it's so pretty it just adds that extra elegance to it so I love making this um, spray bead sprays I think I this one I use a 22 gauge wire and so you can always use different color wires depending on your project what you want to do so they look like little trees so this is another thing that I made in white okay and then my last share is this pom-pom tassel and so a lot of you were making pom-pom tassels at one time and I do have a lot in my stash I just never shared it um, I have them in all different colors so I made an all white one and so Wandy Sweets has this um, a tutorial up on how to make this um, I believe Amy she learned it from Amy L um, Anna and Natalie also have um, pom pom tassels there's a lot of you out there okay so I don't want to pinpoint anyone but those are the ones that I found inspiration from okay so I have a fluffy pom pom on the bottom and it goes into this pom pom and here I have a variety of white beads with a clasp at the top okay so I love my pom pom tassel and this is where all my dangles come in so I thought maybe it would be really cute that I could gift these dangles as well. So 
when you look for the connection on the bottom you just put it on there and it can hang from your pom-pom onto your tassel isn't that really cute I love it so you can always add more so this is a good way to gift some of your dangles to make something like this so they can the recipient can always use it as is or with this dangle on it so cute isn't that cute okay and then also let's take this one off if I can see and then when it comes to something like this this big one you can always hang it on the top of this jump ring and this jump ring up here is not a jump ring it's a split ring so I figure it's, it's more durable but you can also add it here and then you can always gift it and the recipient can use the pom-pom tassel and take the beaded charm off or they can use it together or you can just hang it from your bag like this or your project I guess you would use it on your bag and then I even try to hang it on my crochet bag here so I just hung it on one of these spokes here see isn't that pretty Okay, so you can hang it on any type of bag so I thought that was so cute you can even hang it from the side I love it I love it love it love it so these are really easy to make um, there is gazillion tutorials out there you just have to um, search for beaded uh, chunky charms okay and then what else was I going to use this for? oh here so even with this one this has a crochet heart on it so you can also hang this from with your tassel or you can put it on your bag so it kind of matches you have a crocheted heart and with beads on it so you can always do it on each side since I have two or one side even off to the side it looks really pretty okay so that's about it that's what I've been doing this past um, month I think I really got into the collab the past month I was thinking so much about how to um, do white things and uh, I was just brain dead I was learning trying to get all my crochet things out so um, I thought oh, okay I can just use white yarn and make a lot of different crochet items so that's why I came up with all of these roses and I found the poof bath poof the purse was my biggest achievement I love my purse my little bag okay and then I have this whole tray of goodie crocheted projects in here and I'm so happy because I really wanted to make doily so now I kind of got it kind of got it down pat okay so these doilies are great too because you can use them to embellish a project um, you can put your butterflies on it you know when you want to make a um, decorate your gift box or your pizza box or a bag okay so that you can use that and then after I started to crochet because I started to get into beads these, this past week I started to make all these dangles okay and I really love this one I made this one during one of my zoom meetings I just was ra wire wrapping okay so that is it thank you so much Tina for um, inviting me to do this collab I really had fun and it really got me out of my comfort zone to do things that um, I wanted to try but I never did such as this pom-pom tassel making these crocheted roses making more dangles um, learning how to do different types of crochet stitches um, making butterflies making doilies and in the end I made some of these bead sprays 
Okay, so everyone, check out everyone's channel below. And I forgot the um, most important part, maybe, is that I am having a giveaway. I do want you to be one of my subscribers, a visible subscriber. Um, in my past couple giveaways, I couldn't find you in my subscribers. So make sure your setting is set where I can see you, where it's public. Um, so I'm going to, you have to be a subscriber of mine. You have to leave a nice comment below. And this is um, 4th of July, Saturday. So by next week, Wednesday, I'll pick a winner. And I'll come, come back here and see if you won. And I'm giving you $25 into your PayPal account. You must have PayPal. So this is open to all my subscribers. And um, yeah, so check out the other ladies. I think some of them might be giving away prizes as well or giveaways. So um, visit everyone's channel. There are. I'm, I'm so blessed that I'm hooked up with an awesome lineup of crafters and um, they really inspire me each and every one of them they are uh, so great and I just love watching all of the crafters here share all of their things especially during this time where you know this is our release so um, thank you so much everyone for coming and I will see you really soon happy 4th of July bye